Live look here, Supreme Court. This is what we're seeing at this hour as we go on the air. Been a little over 24 hours, in fact, and dozens of protesters still outside here making their voices heard on abortion. They, like many Americans, are responding to the possible end of Roe versus Wade and the fact a draft opinion was leaked from the high court for the first time ever. Here are a few of the things that we have learned throughout this long day today. President Biden says it calls the fundamental rights of Americans into question. Here in Texas, some elected officials point out that almost all abortions would end in this state if the high court does act. And within the walls of the court itself, Chief Justice John Roberts promising an investigation to try to find the leaker. The announcement did little to stop the outrage from pro-abortion groups. Protests, in fact, held in nearly every major city all across this country today. And that includes two that were held in North Texas tonight. One was right outside the Planned Parenthood office in Plano. The other located at Dealey Plaza in downtown Dallas. We're hearing from people on both both sides of the debate tonight and our Aaron Jones is going to get us underway at Dealey Plaza. Aaron, people very, very passionate no matter which side they land on here. They are dug in here in Dealey Plaza and across North Texas. We saw pro-abortion rights groups coming together. Some of these rallies drawing hundreds of people. We also heard from those with opposing views. What abortion rights are under attack? What do we do? They're banding together. Uh, we started organizing this last night, calling this a war against women. Our rights um, as human beings are being attacked. Marissa Rodriguez joining other pro-abortion rights supporters in Dealey Plaza. They believe the U.S. Supreme Court draft opinion on overturning the nation's abortion law does not reflect the majority of Americans' values and beliefs. It is our body, our choice, and it seems odd to me that there are people out there who feel like they can make that decision for us when they've never had to live in our bodies in this in this world. But on the other side today, those who would like to see Roe v. Wade overturned, praying outside clinics in Northeast Dallas that continue to provide abortions. We're cautiously optimistic that uh, Roe versus Wade may be overturned. But as Joanne indicated, it doesn't stop what we're doing today. It doesn't stop. Texas Congresswoman Beth Van Dyne also sharing her thoughts. Well, what it's doing is it's writing a wrong from 50 years ago that the Supreme Court actually viewed that it was a constitutional right. What it's doing is it's putting that right back in the state legislatures where it always belonged. In Texas, abortion will be illegal if Roe v. Wade is overturned. In terms of enforcement, it would be up to the district attorneys in each county to decide whether to accept a violation of the trigger law. The more people that show up to events like this, the more we'll be able to prove to our elected officials that we don't want a ban. And tonight, people on both sides say one of the best ways to have their voices heard is to vote. Reporting live in Dallas, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News. Aaron,